Plus, think you're paying too much for health insurance? An innovative program your company may consider. But there's a catch. You're watching KFMB TV, Channel 8, San Diego. Hal Clement, Susan Peters, Ted Leitner with sports, Lauren Nancaro with the weather. This is the 6.30 edition of News 8, San Diego's number one source for news. Still ahead on News 8 tonight, think you're paying too much for health insurance? Take a trip south of the border where a new program is helping meet the needs of some workers here in America. It's a program the company you work for just may consider. And sick and tired of television being a one-way street? Later, in this era of skyrocketing health care costs, one local company is offering a low-cost alternative. The catch? Employees have to go to a doctor south of the border. Tonight, in depth, the News H Jody Hammond reports on Mexico's first HMO. There's no light bulbs out. Maria Luisa Huizar um, supervises the housekeeping team at the Hotel del Coronado. Like dozens of other hotel employees, she has a green card but lives in Tijuana. Every day she faces an international commute. There are 1,200 hotel employees in all. 110 have chosen a unique option offered by the hotel a health plan that allows them to get medical care in Mexico. Huizar is covered by Mexico's first health maintenance organization, or HMO, International Medical Services. We were just hooking up people from the United States that wanted to get less expensive health care done in Mexico. We then realized that there was a terrific opportunity for employers in the United States to take advantage of the economics of Mexico to provide health care for their Mexican employees in Mexico. Modeled after Kaiser Permanente, International Medical Services hired its own doctors and contracted with the Tijuana Hospital to form the HMO. American companies are able to offer their employees an option that saves money for both worker and boss. And I have um, all the attention and I don't have to pay a, pen a penny. With our program, we're paying about $134 a month for your entire family and that's with no co-payments or deductibles so it's it's a half to a third depending on, on what your health care needs are there's almost no other way to do it uh, efficiently and, uh, and economically and in a way that you know your employee is going to be getting good service and you know that the company is not going to be getting ripped off at National Steel and Shipbuilding NASCO 100 of 2600 employees eligible have signed up for the Tijuana health plan so far, no complaints. Unlike the Hotel Del Coronado, NASCO offers the Tijuana HMO to employees living in San Diego as well as Mexico. For people who have to wait in this line every day, one less trip to visit an American doctor is a big plus. And many of their dependents couldn't cross into San Diego even if they wanted to because they don't have the immigration papers to enter the United States legally. Though that's not a problem for Huizar, a Mexican doctor is still her preference. I feel comfortable in my kids, too. And that's just what the doctor ordered. Jody Hammond, News 8, Tijuana.